Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Commander-in-Chief Trump issues new orders to military, transgender lovers erupt in hormonal rage. As the desperation of the leftist press grows to convince America that President Trump is an affront to mankind, they sink deeper into an all-consuming rage and focus on stories that may be his ultimate undoing. With the news cycle slowing, thankfully, to a virtual halt on the whole Russia collusion concoction, until Mueller ends up finding some small transgression molehill that can be effectively turned into a mountain, the fake news industrial complex needed another flagship story. Of course, the whole Confederacy kerfuffle filled that niche nicely. Now that even this story is beginning to wind down in effectiveness, they need a new focus. Behold, transgenderism in the military. Yes, it's finally here. The story the leftist press has been waiting for with bated breath. Donald Trump has written a two-and-a-half-page memo further explaining in detail the implementation of his transgender ban in the military. The press is beside themselves in fake news anger. Independent Journal Review Within the next few days, President Donald Trump is expected to formally tell Defense Secretary James Mattis how to implement his controversial ban on transgender individuals serving in the military. U.S. officials told The Wall Street Journal about the two-and-a-half-page memo, which effectively blocks the Pentagon from admitting new transgender troops into the military and prevents the military from using taxpayer money on medical treatments for currently serving members. Mattis, who would have six months to prepare, would condition whether a service member remains in the military based on whether or not the armed forces could deploy them to a war zone. The memo would be welcomed policy guidance for the Pentagon, which has reportedly been waiting for more information since Trump announced the ban on July 26. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle opposed the move. In a letter, 53 congressional Democrats said the ban would weaken the military. We believe any serious or credible review of the law and the facts in the present case make it clear that the president's proposed ban on transgender people serving in the armed forces will weaken not strengthen our military, and is blatantly unconstitutional. According to a study by the RAND Corporation, roughly between 1,320 and 6,600 people serve as openly transgender individuals. Now that the memo will be made public and the new policy will be installed, the Antifa people will have to begin taking up arms against the military, as it were, seeing that they will invariably disagree with the ban. How about that mental picture? Though, huh? A bunch of hooded and masked college children in paid Soros thugs, running up toward the post guardhouse with baseball bats, knives, brass knuckles, mace and bags of urine and feces. Somehow, I don't see that ending well for them. Speaking of fake news, has anyone noticed that Facebook has now determined that the word fake is a dirty word and substitutes it automatically with effie? I guess when the right cooped did the term from the left, it turned into a bad word and is no longer tolerated by the party of tolerance. Here's a question then, if they can't tolerate the world fake, how can the military be expected to tolerate men masquerading as women? Just wondering. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. comments.